Today, we will talk about camera mounts. What's mean by camera mount? Camera mount is anything that holds a camera. For example, your shoulder, wheelchair, and even a scooter can be a camera mount. We have different types of camera mounts. Firstly, tripod. What's mean by tripod? A simple three-legged stand and its legs can be extended independently to suit an even ground. And the camera position is fixed, but the tripod is portable. And the most important parts of the tripod are the legs and the head. And there are three types of heads. Fluid heads, friction head, and the cam head. And if you attach wheels to your tripod, then you now have the dolly tripod. In fact, any camera mount that have wheels is called dolly. The third type is a studio pedestal. What's mean by studio pedestal? It is a camera mount with three wheels and the capability of holding 500 pound camera. Studio pedestal can go up or down very smoothly, but the ring is, is somehow limited and it can't go below 1 meter or above 2 meters. Fourth type is jib arm. Jib arm gives you up and down movement that you can't get with a tripod. While camera crane is nothing more than a big jib arm with one or two operators, operator and the director, and they, they are both have a seat. And the last type of camera mounts is a steady cam. Steady cam allow you to walk or run with camera while keeping the pictures perfectly steady. This machine are very complicated the cost several thousand dollars. It used to follow an object through twists and turns. And finally, we can replace a tripod with a steady cam, as tripod are still the best solution. The second part of the lecture, we will talk about camera movements. We have different movements. First. Panning. What's mean by panning? Panning, it is performed by mounting the camera on a tripod. Simply, move the camera horizontally from left and right about external axis. And when a camera is moved from side to side, this is known as panning. A pen can also reveal information as needed. It can follow a moving object. So, panning should be smooth. And pan shots are used to show the viewer more of the scenery. And pan shot begin with a still shot, then pan, then finish with a still shot. And you can Practice panning in different speeds until you find the best speed for you. Second, we will talk another, we will talk about another movement. Tilting. What's mean by tilt? A tilt done with a mounted camera. You just move the camera up or down without lowering or rising the position of the camera. This is like panning, only it is done vertically. Tilt can also generate emotional responses and causes feelings like hope, expectation and in this case it is called tilting upward while tilting downward can lower interest and create feelings or disappointment 
or sadness. And the third type is dolly. Dollying is moving the wall camera toward or backward from the subject, in and out. And you can make your own dolly with a wheelchair, a scooter, or a skateboard, or many other devices that have wheels. This video camera movement technique is used to follow your subject. And also you can use this, use this technique with, with mixing it with another techniques. And the direction of the dolly draw different types of attention from the viewer. For example, when the dolly moves towards the subject, the viewer interest is increased. While when the camera is dolly away, interest in the subject is, is lowered and the tensions are relaxed. The fourth type of movements is zoom. We have zooming in and zooming out. Zooming in and out, it changes the focal length. And therefore, the size of the image with varying speeds while the camera is stationary. Now, we have to differentiate between zoom and dolly. Another way to alter the area that the camera see is to move dolly, the camera, toward or away from the subject. Although it might seem this would produce the same effect as zooming the lens in and out, but this isn't true. When you zoom, you optically enlarge smaller and smaller parts of the picture to fill the screen. And when you dolly a camera, you physically move the entire camera toward or away from the subject matter. Some directors, especially in motion pictures, prefer the more natural effect of dolly. The fourth type of camera movement is pedestal. Pedestal is moving the camera up or down without changing its vertical or horizontal axis. A camera operator can do two types of pedestal. Pedestal up, which means move the camera up, and pedestal down, which means move the camera down. You pedestal the camera up or down to get the height you prefer. For example, if you want to get eye to eye with a 6 foot 6 basketball player, you would be distal up. While if you shooting a flower or a small child, you would be distal down. Finally, we will talk about tracking. A track is a travel shot. It's mean moving the camera from left to right instead of in and out. We can use tracking in motion track that will eliminate any friction.